Just have people and people. It doesn't work. Never. It just, it's, you have to, it's like peanut butter and chocolate. You've got to have a little bit of both to make these platforms scale and grow and work. But, so Renault, the CEO of Lending Club, and I are speaking in New York, and we talk about this all the time. Bring it retail. Bring us your retirement accounts. Bring us your retail. We'll do less with institutions. We could have turned Prosper into an institutional platform and just got rid of retail, had no SEC registration, it would have been easier, or we could have gotten rid of everybody, borrowed money, and just done the loans ourselves. But we decided to keep it retail and institutional for a reason. And the company valuations are higher when you have retail and institutional. So somebody knew. Somebody knew. Richard, five minutes to go. Yes, sir. So what's the difference? I guess I'm trying to uh, get my head around the difference between alternative lenders, like you mentioned on deck earlier, back by Bank. What's the difference between that and that? So, so let's talk about On Deck. I'm really good friends with those guys. I'm with them in New York on Tuesday. On Deck said, I don't want to do what Lending Club and Prosper does with people. I want to take individuals and institutions, and I want to find businesses. And I want to just lend to businesses. But they didn't let any retail investors really in. They let institutions in, and then they borrowed a bunch of money, and they're doing the lending themselves with the warehouse line. So the difference is not a lot of retail, none some institutional money, and a lot of their own borrowed money, and they're lending to businesses. Similar, but different. Still in debt crowdfunding, not peer-to-peer, -peer, but online marketplace for credit for businesses, not people. So SoFi and Common Bond are student loans. So on Deck and Funding Circle are business, now, and Lending Club's now doing business, and Prosper and Lending Club are consumers, and Realty Mogul and Asset Avenue and Patch of land and all those guys are real estate. Those are the four kind of categories in debt crowdfunding to the right. Yes? Uh, kind of piggyback off here with another Google spin off. Um, how does Upstart kind of fit into this? Yep. Whole realm? Just had dinner with those guys. They are brilliant. These guys are young and smart and very intimidating. They're, they're using SAT and all kind of other things, and they're down in the credit. So they're not, I'll call it, their average fight was way less than ours. So they're in crowdfunding, because they're kind of down lower in credit, much, much smaller. So if lending clubs, we're 40%, lending clubs 60, they're 1%. They're teeny, they're doing maybe a couple million a month, maybe. But they're smart guys, they, they just gotta grow a little bit. Really good guys. <coughs> Richard. Yes, so I'll play devil's advocate. How do we know that your industry is not going to turn into the online equivalent of payday lending? And what's the bear? How do you protect businesses from themselves? Because there's a lot of criticism of Ondex model in their interest rates. So we could go below 640, minimum FICO. So today we turn away 80% of the people who come to us because they're under 640 or below, or we can't validate or verify their identity, income, and employment, or they choose not to get, take the money in the end. We could go right to 550. We could validate and verify less. We could go to thin files. And we would just say to the investors, we don't have a balance sheet, buyer beware, go for it. We could lower the rates. We could do all kinds of stuff. But that's not what Prosper is about. We invested seven figures each, my two partners and I. And Sequoia put up lots of money for us to do this of their own. We have skin in the game. We've gone from We've gone up 40x in valuation in 18 months. We've got a lot of skin in the game. So we could, but we're not. Is anybody? Is anybody doing, than doing what? Going down? Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at top FICO all the way down, you will see people down below doing really high interest rates, 50, 40, 35. For these consumers that are really getting killed by the payday lenders or the loan charts across from military bases and all those auto lenders who are charging 40 and 50 percent around the country. So not negative. My friend Al Goldstein has something called Avant Credit. He's fitting right down there and they're helping people get lower rates, but the rates are high. So you do see people up and down the stack. You just see lending them profit <coughs> up top at the highest income, highest micro. One more thought, one more thought. Yep. No. One, one thought, one question. Yep. So, so what is your prediction, Ron, in the next four years for the peer-to-peer -peer crowdfunding? So I think it's going to be huge. That huge pie there, 
it's not about measuring what are we doing today and I'm competing against you. I think, so Prosper did more in the second quarter than it did all of last year. It took Prosper eight years to do one billion dollars of loan originations. Our second billion took us eight months. That's how fast this is growing. It's right in front of us though. And our competition isn't the banks, it's not lending clubs. It's education and awareness and understanding, which is what we're doing here, which is what Richard's doing, which is what your white paper is. It's telling the story. You as individuals, you as institutions, for the first time, can invest in consumer credit. You had to go to banks before and buy these packaged expensive products, but now because of technology and entrepreneurship and this collision of Wall Street, Silicon, Bank, Silicon Valley and the banking industry, you can do it yourself. And we've gone to this group of individual borrowers saying there's a better, smarter way to borrow. And the young people totally get it. And so I just think it's huge. If we did a billion seven this year, call it a billion six, we'll be close to four billion next year in loan originations, knock on wood. And it's happening all over the world, not just in this country. Latin America, <coughs> Asia, Europe, UK. The, the vision is there's a button on the ATM machine. It says borrow or lend, powered by Prosper, like Intel inside. <laughs> you go to Priceline, it says disintermediate hotels, disintermediate airlines, now they've got open table, borrow lend. These are the kind of things that we think are gonna happen. These technology firms don't wanna be banks, but they get what we're doing. It's about trust, and it's about transparency, and it's about education, awareness, understanding, and making the pie really good. Thank you very much. So I realize you're in Northern California, you kind of a rather nice wall in life. I'm going to invite the next panel to come up here for reset.